Okay, time to do a gardening video. Let's try this. So lots of folks ask me about uh, how do I know, you know, why do I have so many flowers on my squash and uh, uh, no fruit yet? Well, squash and pumpkins and things like that, uh, their initial flowering is all male flowers because it takes less energy to make a male flower than it does to make a female flower. So once the plant is more established, then you'll start seeing the female flowers. You can tell the difference between a male flower and a female flower um, by the structure of the flower and by um, kind of taking a look at it. And you'll, you'll see the fruit on it. So um, how do I turn this thing around? Um, so here is a female flower. You see there, there's a little bit of, uh, there's a little baby squash there at the bottom, right? And you'll see that the, the parts on the inside of the flower, well, you can figure out the biology, but they look similar. Um, so let's find a male flower. A male flower will not have that fruit on it. So it will just have a straight stem. So if I can find, so there's a male flower. So see how there's no little baby squash under there and see how the insides look a little different. So what you can do when it's early like this um, you can actually see there's another female flower um, see how it's got the squash on it those two so you can actually take the male flower because you'll have a bunch of them take this male flower um, peel peel off the leaf the petals then kind of help the procreation happen right I'll show you how to do that so let me uh, take the petals off of this thing and I'll be right back. Yeah, you're going to have to wait because I don't do editing, so you'll have to just assume that I know what the hell I'm talking about and you get to listen. So there's, so here's the male flower after uh, removing the petals. Uh, you don't have to remove the petals of the female. You can see you just kind of go Kind of just get it in the center there, like you, like if it was two people. Um, and then the pollen will get in there and they'll, they, they should, uh, should pollinate that, that squash. And that should be now fertile. When, you, when they don't get pollinated is when you see the little flower will dry up and the end of the fruit will dry up and they'll fall off so but yeah you just kind of do what a bee would do right which is take the pollen and spit it all around in there so hopefully that will fertilize those uh squash and they'll, they'll continue to grow into squash um and that's the uh kind of gist of it you look for the Male flowers, grab a male flower, pluck it off, pull the petals off, use it. Uh, you can also take like a long uh, handled Q-tip and swirl it around inside the male flower and then go swirl it around inside the female flower. I do that with tomatoes um, or a paintbrush, a, fine, a very small paintbrush. Uh, you just got to clean it between uses if you use it on more than one type of plant because you don't want, you know, or you could have some really interesting gardening experiments that way, but... Alrighty, it's Saturday morning. We're in the garden. Green beans are beating the the sunflowers over here. So peas are, fine, are dying back a bit. But everything else is doing great. Had a first bit of broccoli this morning. We had some peas. Beets are looking amazing. I'll post some pictures of the beets. Cucumbers are finally starting to grow. Got some radishes that I put to seed. And then this monster of a, of a mammoth. Uh, sunflower but the beets are starting to look really good tasty 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 all right have a day great day be good to each other